Low back pain is defined as pain and discomfort localized below the costal margin and above the inferior gluteal folds with or without leg pain. The lifetime prevalence of low back pain is reported as over 70% in industrialized countries. Peak prevalence occurs between ages 35 and 55. Recurrent and chronic pain account for 75 to 85 of total workers' absenteeism. The major limitation of uh, MRI is that image acquired with patient in supine position, in a position of relative functional rest, but pain exacerbates in uh, the upright position. And uh, furthermore, MRI findings and clinical symptoms do not necessarily correlate in number pain. We have negative findings in the presence of symptoms in a supine position. Here you can see the variation from upright position and supine position. We have a reduction of spondylolisthesis, a spinal variation with increasing breadth of the foramen and vertebral canal, and the widening of gap with the fluid on the facet at MRI. In the past, we performed weight-bearing flexion radiography, first tool for the evaluation of patients with lumbar spine instability, but the limit is that it's impossible to study these structures. And then axial load MRI, but load is applied with caudocranial direction and not a low evaluation of the influence that is physiological represented by the weight of head, body, and muscle activation. Our purpose is that we are evaluated differences between orthostatic and supine positions in facial joint fluid and spondylolisthesis at MRI. We perform a retrospective study. 63 consecutive patients underwent lumbar spine MRI for low pain pain. <coughs> Each examination was performed in both standard supine and orthostatic position. We utilize a permanent magnet of 0.35 Tesla tilting system that can rotate from zero degrees to 90 degrees without the need for patient repositioning. The study was carried out at the table angle of 82 degrees in the upright position, becoming reproducing a orthostatic position uh, for a less patient stability problem. We, perf we perform, excuse me, we perform uh, upright position before supine position in order to avoid syncopal episodes. Here you can see the time, the total time of the examination. For each level from L3 to S1, we evaluated the presence of a facet joint fluid and spondylolisthesis in the two positions. We consider absent, present, monolateral, or bilateral, and spondylolisthesis was evaluated according to Meyerling classification, and use McNemar a T2 test for comparison. Here you can see the results for L3, L4, for L4, L5, L4, L5, S1. The fluid in orthostatic position tends to reduce compared to supine position, whereas spondylolisthesis does not show significant change in which position. We perform a biomechanical hypothesis. These decrepancies may be related to prevalence of late degenerative change in our patients with possible stabilization of lumbar spine. The process of degeneration which led to lumbar instability has been divided into three phases temporary dysfunction, unstable phase, and restabilization by arthrosis. In conclusion, fluid in supine position tends to reduce compared to orthostatic position, where spondylolisthesis does not show significant changes with position. Further prospective study on younger patients should investigate the role of patient joint fluid and spondylolisthesis on lumbar pain pathogenesis. A multidisciplinary approach is necessary to establish whether and how those patients should be treated. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ottonello. Is there a, any question from the floor? <coughs> Thank you for the presentation. Miles Bowes in Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, as I understood, you used the uh, myodine classification for the anterior stage. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, that might be too crude, actually, uh, 
a measurement to see the change, because in yeah. our experience, the change is happening within the score. So uh, the, cha no, the challenge here is actually to find a way to measure the change, the, which you visually I, see. Uh, we, but we, don't, we don't measure the change. We, that's only change, no change, change monolateral, bilateral. Okay. No measurements. Okay. Thank you. If there is no other question, we can... You have one? Yeah, of course. Pick up first degree spondylolisthesis, say at L5 S1, which doesn't change from the subline to the upright position. There's a change. No, suppose I, you know, some of the cases you actually you mentioned you didn't say any change of the degree of spondylolisthesis. The change is on the, on the fluid, only on the fluid. On the facet joint itself. Yeah. However, neurosurgeons or spine surgeons mm -hmm. want to know is there mechanical instability or not. Hmm? The spondylo disease is exaggerated in flexion this, or not? Yeah, this is a, a very important issue. Yeah, that by a simple X-ray you can do it. This is one thing. The other thing, actually, a neurosurgeon or as a radiologist yeah. here, we don't do the examination while the patient is in severe pain. In but the standing position here with an open magnet, the examination is more than 25 minutes. This is too lengthy for a patient suffering. Yeah. But it's important to identify younger patients in order to avoid a develop of a instability, chronic, and chronic low pain. I mean, actually, by a simple x-ray in the flexion and extension, you can answer this question. It's, it's possible, maybe. Yes. Thank you. So, so, so in, in which patients would you suggest to perform upright for, MRI? For younger patients. It's not a surgical problem. It's uh, important to identify, to identify the, the younger patient that in the future may develop a, lumbar, a chronic lumbar pain. Okay, thank, thank you. you.